Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Delgado and I'm your lead tour guide for today. I'm so excited that you're interviewing with us and I wish you the best of luck as the cycle continues. We will begin the tour in the J. Harold Harrison MD Education Commons. The first floor of the Harrison building contains three levels of study spaces that feature abundant natural light, a coffee shop which is easily accessible for a quick between class snack, coffee, or a full lunch, and an IT service desk located in the lobby for your convenience. There are also a few classrooms on the first floor. These classrooms are the M1 and M2 lecture halls. These halls are mirror images of one another and are large enough to accommodate daily lectures. The large lecture halls also accommodate student interest group meetings and larger pre-clerkship events. Let's move on to the second floor. The second floor of the Harrison building holds the smaller problem-based learning rooms, which are ideal for hosting small group learning. There is a television screen at the end of the conference table in each room. The TVs are generally for weekly student presentations. When these rooms are not occupied for classes, they are available for students to study in groups. The large whiteboard space is perfect for drawing concept maps and pathways with your study teams, especially during the M1 year. Collaboration is a big part of the MCG spirit, and the study spaces in the Harrison building facilitate teamwork-driven activity between students. The academic houses also start on the second floor. The academic house system at MCG is made up of 13 houses and help make our large class size feel smaller. Immediately outside each academic house is a set of lockers for student use. Inside each academic house is a study space and kitchenette for student use. My favorite thing about the academic house system is the camaraderie it facilitates both within and between classes. The library service desk can also be found on the second floor along with a printing station, an ideal resource for problem-based learning projects. The third floor houses our interdisciplinary simulation center. Simulation employs true-to-life human models that simulate physiologic disease states and crises, allowing learners to receive immediate, lifelike feedback about their clinical decision-making processes. These high-fidelity simulators contain numerous features that assist in making them realistic. Simulation center facilities include one 150-seat classroom, high and medium fidelity simulation and operating rooms, two eight-bed open bay labs to simulate a hospital ward, and eight debriefing rooms for reviewing simulations, discussing procedures, and playback of all simulations. In the simulation center, students interact with high-tech patient simulators along with standardized patients through MCG's clinical skills program. Standardized patients vary in age, gender, and ethnicity to allow students to engage with patients who will mimic the diverse patient populations they will experience in practice. Next, we will move on to the anatomy lab. Students are given 24-hour access to the anatomy lab with their activated student ID badges. Each student is assigned a locker where they are permitted to store any materials they will need for anatomy lab. Additionally, the locker rooms contain showers for students to use. Students also have access to a resource room adjacent to the anatomy lab. It contains models of various organ systems, as well as conference tables and television screens for team-based learning. In the anatomy lab, you will find the body donors. MCG students work in teams of four on the days they are assigned to dissect. While some students stress about their initial lab experience, faculty are extremely understanding and help the class acclimate to a new method of learning and conquer any lingering anxieties. MCG faculty also stress the importance of respecting the body donors and the privilege we have as medical students to learn from them. We recognize the sacrifices of each body donor and their families with a body donor memorial service held each spring. Just a short walk from the main education commons, Greenblatt Library is one of the hidden gems of the Health Sciences campus at Augusta University. Inside on the first floor, you will find the main resource and help desk. If you are looking for a quiet place for solo study time, Greenblatt Library is the prime real estate. Upstairs is a large open space with tables in the center and cubicles along the windows. There are also a number of study rooms with whiteboards students may use for group work. Children's Hospital of Georgia, also known as CHOG, is one of the healthcare centers frequented by students. Many student groups take advantage of CHOG's convenient location for hosting events and becoming involved in the medical community. Opportunities at CHOG are available as early as your first semester. 
AU Medical Center is conveniently accessible by walking just over the Sky Bridge from Pavilion 3 to the hospital. It contains a dining location, Terrace Dining, for students to take advantage of during long days on campus. Student interest groups use the close proximity of AU Medical Center to gain access to clinical experiences prior to their clerkship years. Moreover, medical students are encouraged to shadow chaplains and experts in palliative care at AU Medical Center as a part of the Graduate Certificate in Bioethics program, another unique offering at MCG. This is a resource students have access to as soon as they earn their white coat in the fall. The Wellness Center features a gym that contains a variety of equipment and many group fitness classes. Students also have the opportunity to participate in intramural sports. It's always fun competing against the other health science programs. The bookstore is a one-stop shop for school swag and student resources to help you get supplies you need. While not all students choose to purchase a meal plan, the dining hall is easily accessible from the Education Commons and Elm Hall. The Elm Hall community is one that automatically feels like home. Graduate students primarily live on the fourth and fifth floors of the facility in one bedroom and studio apartments. Students who live in Elm Hall have access to recreational areas and common spaces for studying. Laundry facilities are located on each floor. Graduate students living in Elm Hall park in the lot adjacent to the building. Elm Hall balances the conveniences of living in a residence hall with the responsibilities of transitioning to independent living. While there were members of the residence life team to help me move in and out, I didn't feel like an undergraduate student. As a matter of fact, I learned a lot about living on my own, including cooking and meal prepping in my own kitchen. That concludes our tour. Thank you for being here with me today, and I wish you the best of luck throughout the rest of the admission cycle. Hope to see you on campus soon.